everyone welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my channel then welcome today I'm making some candle holders for uh, you could use for bridal showers or weddings it's a little bride and groom made on champagne glasses I was inspired by some of the things that I saw on Pinterest so I took a little bit of elements from each one that I saw and came up with my own design so I hope you enjoy So you're going to need two champagne glasses. I purchased these at the Dollar Tree. And then you're going to want to make a line around where you want your little dress to start or end, whichever, on here. So I just made a line with a dry erase marker about three inches up. And my handy contraption I used was I just taped it to a ruler and held that up. Let's see how I can see how I can do this. I just held it up here and then I just spun the glass. So I had a nice even line. Just like that. So then this is the hardest part of the entire project. The rest of it is really simple. Is just getting it all taped off where you're going to be spray painting. So around this I'm going to tape right above that line and I use some floral tape only because it bends so much easier to get a nice clean line because the glass, you know, it kind of it's round and masking tape, you can't, that doesn't bend so just for this part I'm using the floral tape and I'm just taping right above that line and then we're just going to wrap this side around and see that bends up nice That's not nice. Like I said, this is the hardest part. Once you get the, your, your tape on here, the rest of it's really simple. Okay. And then I cut out of a piece of um, duct tape a little triangle that'll be the front of the dress. And I'm just going to go ahead and tape that right on that line, just above it, just so it's just overlapping a little bit and then that will be the front of our dress and it's pretty much the same for the other one for the um, tuxedo I do the same thing so put that on there so then I just went around it to cover up a little more with some masking tape to hold this on a little bit better and it doesn't matter because we're not going to be putting any paint up here so it doesn't have to be neat Just keep it above your floral tape. And that's just to make sure I don't get any paint up there. And I don't want to paint this either, so I took a piece of paper and I just cut it so it'll loop around here. And then I'm just going to tape that on. use anything, any kind of paper. You could use a plastic bag, anything you want just to block that off. And then for the top, I'm just going to go around that with a piece of masking tape just around the edge. Because we're going to paint the top of this. Um, for the bride, we're going to paint it white. And for the groom, we're going to paint it black. But I don't want it on the rest of the glass. So we're just going to tape this off like this. And this is going to get covered up too, so the edge doesn't have to be perfect. It will have some of the diamond wrap on it when we're finished. And that's it. And now you're ready to paint your little bride and groom. So I'm going to take these outside. I already did the other one to save some time. And this one came out a little different. I think this one will do was the groom. So I'm just going to take these out. I'm probably going to put like two coats of white on the bride and two coats of black on the groom where it's not taped. And then we will be right back. 
Okay, so in between the rain showers that we're having today, I did manage to get these painted. Um, I put two coats of just white spray paint on just on the top, and I took all the tape and stuff off except for on the bottom where I have the floral tape and the little duct tape V or triangle, whatever you want. Um, so now we're going to add some glitter just to make it a little more sparkly. You don't have to use the glitter. It looks just really nice, just white. But I think it looks a little bit more special with some glitter. And I picked up these at the Dollar Tree. It has the black I'm going to use on our groom. And then it has this really pretty white if you want to use that. I still have some left over from some of my other projects, so I'm going to use what's left in here. But you can get it all in the same pack at the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to use some Mod Podge. This I also picked up at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put some of that on my handy plate here and take my brush and just add some glitter. I'm just going to put a coat on top. And you don't want to put it on the edge because we're going to be putting our diamond wrap around the edge. So I'm just going to put a thin coat on here. You don't need too much. Just enough to hold on some glitter. So I'm just going to sprinkle that right on here. And just tap off the extra. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, that's going to look pretty. So I'm going to do the same thing down here. That's, this is why I'm leaving the tape on right now, so I don't really have to be too, too careful. And I can just spread this all over the bottom and add our glitter to our dress. Yeah. Now we'll have a little sparkly dress, so I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, putting on the Mod Podge and the glitter, and then we'll continue from there. Right. Whoops, what is that? I don't know. Okay, here we have it all glittered all the way around, and I'm going to attempt to find the end of my tape here. And I like to take this off before the Mod Podge dries, otherwise sometimes it pulls off a little too much. Of course I can't find the end. Okay, so I'm just going to peel this off, and hopefully our little triangle will come down. And then you're just going to want to wipe off your line that you made earlier, but I think I'm going to wait till it dries just so I don't mess it up. But anyway, that will come right off. So there's the bottom of our glass with our pretty little wedding gowns getting started. So I'm just going to set that aside for now and we'll bring over the groom and we're just going to do the exact same thing. I'm actually going to mix up some of this glitter. I think I'm going to take a pack of this one and this one and mix them together. It looks really pretty. So let me go ahead and mix those two together. Alright, there it is, all mixed together. I think that looks really a lot more sparkly using the lighter and the darker glitter. So now we're going to do the same thing for the groom. We're going to get our Mod Podge and start at the top. I think I'm going to have to get myself a little plastic spoon or something here to scoop up some more of this glitter. Okay. I put some in a little plastic uh, cup here. Yeah, that's really pretty. So that's how that came out. Very sparkly. Okay. So I'm going to go find myself a spoon so I can scoop up some more of this glitter and finish that up. I'm just going to 
do the same thing that we did with the bride. I'm going to paint it all with the Mod Podge and add the glitter. Alright, now we have him all glittered up. I want to try to find that little um, triangle for the front of his tuxedo and just peel that off. With any luck, this is it. Okay. Alright, I got the little, oh, it's hard to see. Anyway, I took off the little triangle that was in the front, and I wanted to do that before I take off the floral tape because I'm going to paint this part uh, white with just some acrylic paint, and that'll be the front of the shirt. And so I have a nice clean line. I'm just going to leave that tape on there until I'm finished with this. And it may take a couple coats, I'm not sure. Let's try here, because we're going to add some more glitter to this, so I don't know if one coat will be good enough. It may be. And the glitter kind of adds as a guide to the sides here. I shouldn't have put quite as much on here. It's a little too thick. I don't want it to run. Okay. I think that would be good enough. Actually, I'm just going to add the glitter right on top of the paint. Let's see how that looks. Alright, let's give that a try. Take some more of my... Here it is of my glitter. I'm going to add that right to the paint and then I don't think we'll need another coat if this cover is good enough. Like I said, this is my first time trying this too, so we shall see. Nope, I think that's going to be just fine. There you go. And then you can go ahead and take off your floral tape. Hopefully it'll come out with a nice clean line. Ta -da. And there is our groom's tuxedo. Okay, now we're going to have to let these guys dry for a little while, and then we're going to add on our little bow tie, um, our diamond wrap, and. I may try to put some sort of veil on the bride. So we're going to let these guys dry for a bit and then we'll finish them up. Okay, everything's all dry and ready to decorate. I put a single layer of the diamond wrap that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Um, you can get this stuff at Walmart, any craft store pretty much. And I just cut out a single row and I glued it on top of the rim on both. For some reason my camera decided to freeze up and I lost that, but that's all I did. I added a, put a little hot glue on the diamond wrap and just put it around the top of each of the glasses. So now we're going to decorate the dress. I'm going to start with another single uh, row of the diamond wrap and I'm going to start right here down in the center and just make go around the top of, you know, where it's painted. So we're going to start right down here at the V. I'm hoping when I bend this it'll kind of look more like a sweetheart neckline. We shall see. Yeah, that looks pretty cute. Alright, so you're just going to want to glue that right at the top of where the paint ends.
And then we're just going to bend it down until it comes right down to this little point. And then you're just going to want to cut it off to match up with your, uh, put it right out like on the top, right on the top of the first one that you did. So hopefully this is going to work out nice and even. Alright, so I'm just going to add a little drop of glue and try to match that up. Okay, so there's the front of our beautiful wedding dress. And then I had some of these gemstones that I've been using on some other projects. I think they're really pretty. They're just little plastic gemstones that I purchased at Michael's. Um, I got them 60% off. And so I just cut out one of those. And I'm going to just put that right on the front of her gown here. Right underneath the V. pretty. It's a lovely dress. And then I decided I wanted to put a little veil on her. So I took uh, some of the tool that I had that you can also purchase at the Dollar Tree. I think it comes on like, um, what is it? Eight yard rolls for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And then I just doubled it over, kind of measure how long you want it to be. And then I just folded it like an accordion or a fan and just hook a little piece of wire around both of those. I actually used a bread tie, just a regular, you know, bread tie and I just pulled the paper off and, you know, you end up with just this little tiny wire. So I just wrapped that around the top of that and I already finished one. I wrapped it around the top and then just clipped off the ends that were left over. So then I think I want to put it like right about, right about there. And then you're going to cover this end up. I'm going to put a little bit of more of the diamond wrap on there to cover that up. So you want to kind of center it in the back. And there's her little veil. So I think I'm just going to take, um, Two rows of the diamond wrap, just enough to go around here. I'm going to try these scissors. And you want to cut the ends off of your diamond wrap, otherwise it kind of just doesn't look nice. Yeah, those little things that stick up. I'll try to get as close as you can. Alright, so I'm going to actually start in the back. Just add a little glue in here. Just cover up your edge. Pull that around there, cut it off, and I think that'll look really cute. Here so we can see if it's even. There we go. And that hides all your wire and the end of the tool where you cut it off. And then we'll pick our glue webs off later. So now she has a lovely little little veil. So that's pretty much it for our bride. I'm going to set her back here for a minute and bring up the groom. Now for the groom I just cut a piece of uh, black gross getting ribbon. This is 5 8 inch wide. I just cut a 3 inch piece and I'm just going to like fold it over to you know, like, like that. Just so the two ends kind of overlap. And I'm just going to put like a little pleat in here, just fold it down, pinch it real good. And I'm going to take that piece of wire that I used from the bread tie. I'm just going to wrap it around here. And we're going to cover that up so you're not going to see it. 
You just want to wrap it around and tighten it real good. And then just cut off your ends. Okay, so now I'm just going to glue that right here at the top of the shirt. Make a cute little bow tie. I hope that you can see that here. And then I'm going to take a little gemstone and attach that right over top of the wire. You can get these little gemstones pretty much anywhere. It's just a little plastic thing and it's silver on the back. Um, you can get these at Walmart, uh, pretty much any craft store. Sometimes I have seen them at the Dollar Tree, so you can always check there first. So I'm just going to put a little hot glue on there and put that right on top of our bow to hide that wire. There. And then I thought I'd give him a couple little buttons for his shirt. So I have these little tiny, I just, you know, little tiny black bead that I happen to have. I mean, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I just thought it would be kind of cute. So, a little bit of glue on here and see if I can do this in the center and not even close. Let's try that again. Just one little button, and then I'm going to add, try to add one more here. They're so tiny, it's kind of hard to work with them. Without burning your fingers, you want to put a little drop of glue on there. And then there. And there's our little tuxedo for our groom. Right, and now for the candles, I just took two um, tea light candles and just glued four rows of the bling wrap or the diamond wrap, whichever you have. And then I'm just going to hot glue that right to the top of our little groom here, just so it doesn't slide off. And that's not even going to touch. All right, so you really need to get the glue around the edge. Well, depending on what kind of tea light candles you have. These have little bumps on the bottom. Okay. So I'm just going to glue that one there. Bring over our little bride. She's so cute. And take our other tea light candle that I already put the diamond wrap on. And we're going to glue that one on top of her. And there we go. I'm going to clean up this mess and pick off all my glue webs and then we will see how lovely this will look on your table. Okay guys, here's our happy couple. Um, they're all dressed up and ready to get married here. I think this came out real cute. I just um, stuck a little bowl of flowers behind it just so you could kind of see. Yeah, and it was very easy to do. It was a little time consuming, but it was really simple. It would have been a lot quicker today if it wasn't raining outside and things would dry. I don't even know if can you see her little cute little veil back there. The lighting in here is not really good. It's so dark out. But yeah, it came out real sparkly. I love the tuxedo, the way the sparkle came out. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, if you want to try to make them on your own, it's not very hard to do. It's pretty simple. Just some time and a little patience. But I think they're really gorgeous and it's very inexpensive. Most of the stuff is from the Dollar Tree. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Have a great day.